there was a swift reaction in Washington to North Korea's nuclear threats. I can tell you that the United States is fully capable of defending against uh, any North Korean ballistic missile attack. On Capitol Hill, it was called absurd. I don't think that the regime in Pyongyang wants to commit suicide, but that, as they must surely know, uh, that would be the result uh, of any attack on the United States. Even as the Obama administration weighed the provocation, it was not totally unexpected. One has to take what any government says seriously, but I would also say that this kind of uh, extreme rhetoric is, has not been unusual for, for, this, for this regime, unfortunately. North Korea also threatened to scrap the ceasefire that ended the Korean War in the face of tough new United Nations sanctions. Taken together, these sanctions will bite and bite hard. They increase North Korea's isolation and raise the cost to North Korea's leaders of defying the international community. It was a unanimous vote by the UN Security Council and had the crucial backing of North Korea's main supporter, China. The top priority now is to diffuse the tension, bring down the heat, focus on diplomatic track. The new sanctions against Pyongyang are aimed at halting its nuclear and missile programs. Sanctions definitely work. They put pressure on the regime. That's why they're screaming so loud. These will bite, but they're never enough. Calling recent U.S. policy towards North Korea a failure, Serencioni says sanctions must be combined with dialogue if they are to have any chance of success. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.